Hi, my name is Mike Schwartz, Managing Director of iTech Minerals, and welcome to another episode of Ask iTech. So there's a couple of questions that have come up very recently that I'd like to address. Uh, one of them is around our uh, top-up placement that we did just in the last couple of days, and then also uh, some questions about the antimony mineralization that we have at our Reynolds Range project in the Northern Territory. So first to the top-up placement, we had some investors that came in on the last placement that uh, with the release of new information about our lithium mineralization uh, and also this uh, new antimony mineralization at Reynolds Range, wanted to increase their exposure uh, to, to those um, elements or those commodities within the company. Um, so we had some placement capacity left over uh, from the last placement. So we were able to accommodate up to a, another half a million dollars worth of investment from those uh, existing shareholders. So we we're very pleased uh, that they've decided to increase their um, exposure to, to iTech Minerals. Um, now that leads us to the antimony mineralization um, that has been uh, alluded to and talked about in some of our ASX releases and has some had some quite a bit of investor interest over the over the last day or so. So for some background, antimony is an element which is used in manufacturing a lot of alloys and other materials because it has flame retardant properties. Most of the world's antimony comes out of China but they recently announced restriction on exports, which has led to a sharp price increase and a much wider interest in them. So yeah, we had a notice release some time ago uh, that said we had some quite reasonable antimony results that is very directly related to the gold mineralization at, at Reynolds Range. Now, there's a number of elements that seem to go together in this um, sort of quartz and shear vein hosted gold mineralization. So very high antimony mineralization. There's been assays up to well over 7%. You also get lead in particular, uh, and also silver mineralization associated with it. So some of the historical results that we put out are, are quite encouraging. Um, so at the, the Falkian prospect, which is adjacent to the, the Sabre prospect, where we got that 182 gram per tonne gold uh, hit in our last rock chip results, uh, we got 11 meters at four grams per tonne gold, uh, historically, with 4.45% antimony, uh, 1,530 ppm arsenic, and about 382 ppm lead. There was also another drill hole there that reported three meters at 2.2 grams per tonne gold, 2.5%, uh, 5.7% antimony, uh, nearly half a percent arsenic, and 1.4% uh, lead. So it's something that we have been looking at, and in the last couple of rock chip sampling programs, um, we've looked at that, that gold and antimony association quite, quite closely. So we have some rock chip results due uh, early September, uh, first week of September, uh, and they will be on some of the focused rock chip sampling we've done to try to understand the relationship between gold and antimony mineralization at Sabre, um, at Falcon, uh, and also to a lesser degree at the Ward and Scimitar. Um, I've just come back from the field uh, doing some further follow-up sampling um, and, and I've looked at some further extensions of that style of mineralization as well. So those results from this latest field trip uh, are due in about another month. Um, so that'll be looking towards the end of September. So uh, it, it, that style of mineralization is something that we're looking at quite closely and there'll be more results coming to market um, to provide some more detail on that in, in the next uh, week to, to month. So please stay tuned. If you have a question for myself or any of the iTech team, about any of our projects, please jump onto our website and send it through and I'll try and answer it for you and any other investors. Uh, as always, please make sure you subscribe to our email list and our YouTube channel so that you never miss an update in the future. Thanks for watching.